Did you know that some of the first radios available didn't have batteries, didn't have a plug, but what they did have was a coil, a set of earphones, a long wire antenna, a ground wire, and this little gadget here known as a cat's whisker that you'd carefully move across the top of this rock until you found just the right spot and it would bring in the radio stations. The rock is made out of galena. Now people have made these detectors with varying devices such as pencil lead, razor blades, and here's one I threw together made of iron pyrite. I carefully balanced it on top of these two razor blades. In fact, if I put on a little amplification here, you can actually see this working. Well, I had it anyways. Let's see. There you go. So these homemade detectors that were made of a variety of different things don't work as well as the more commonly used 1N34A diode but you can still come up with an impressive amount of volume.